Folks, Fat Guy Flies RC here. We're out here at the Avon Park Field. We're going to take up the Carbon Cessna 150, Carbon Z Cessna 150. I just replaced the nose gear again for like the fifth time, mainly because they come loose so easy. You, you got to get in there and re-anchor them down, and if you have a less than perfect landing, they will... Uh, Man, I, I don't think I like those takeoff flaps like that. Off those. Well, anyways, we'll go in there and look at that. Let's take go down here. Let's get her turned around. That's a good looking bird. All right. Pretty, pretty bird. Good looking bird. Now she's a Cessna 150. There. Knife edge here for you. You know what? Do a nice slow, low pass here for you. Got them big old flaps all the way down. Now, she of course, I want to say big standard servos in her. There you go. There you go. Sorry if I'm blinding you in the sun here. Take off All right, go to take off flaps here. Landing I can still see that tail light. Nice slow pass here. Now she features, if you purchase the bind and fly. There, that's full speed. If you purchase the bind and fly plane, which she's $399 for the bind and fly, which uh, means that they've lowered the price. She would have been 429. And folks, I, I hate to say it, when H, uh, Horizon Hobby starts lowering the price on something, it's getting ready to go bye-bye. So most people can figure that one out. There you go. It's a good looking plane, I tell you. Yeah, no, no flaps that time. Just pure power and, a, and the elevator. There, she'll fly inverted, no problem. I want to tell you something, folks. If you're thinking, if you're thinking about getting into the hobby. Invest in a good flight simulator. Something like Real Flight 8 or Real Flight 9. Because, now, let me interrupt you for that thought for just a minute. If y'all notice what I did just then. Whoa! 
Don't do that. <laughs> you little rambunctious there. But if you notice what I just did when I land, landed while ago, I let my take my main gear set down first. And that's what you want to do with a tricycle gear. That's what this plane is, tricycle gear. And uh landing flap. Let me see if I can show you that again. Now watch. You see? I let that I let the um, main sit down first and I let the nose settle down. Okay, let's get turned around here. And this time we're gonna land with no kind of flaps at all. Coming in hot though. I will probably, yeah, go out in the grass. What I just did just then, right before, when I was about, uh-oh, I'm in this, I'm going to walk to it. There's a dirt pile there, probably a big ant pile that my nose just went into, my front gear. And uh, more than likely, it's a big ant hill. But, nice thing about it is you can see the bird sitting there in the grass, all nice and pretty. That grass is real thick. See how, how deeply buried the landing gear is? Yeah, yeah, it's just buried in the grass there. Yeah, all right, prop off while I pick it up. All right. She's a big bird, big heavy bird. And just so you know, I'm running a... Uh, a spectrum smart battery and uh, real folk the prop is off we feel something all right good all right we're gonna take off one more time got a minute back on you hear that roaring roaring sound that goes away do not let that bother you in these giants in these giant uh, airplanes, these big foamies, the carbon Zs they have, every one of them have that roaring. Get off the runway because we're landing. Every one of them have that roaring. There, see? It was very, very um, subtle, but the landing gear, front gear, back gear, main gear hit first, and then I let the nose fall down. And see, reason for that is, number one, it's, it's the way you're supposed to do it, but number two, that nose gear is the most vulnerable, weakest part of your landing gear. And the full weight of that plane is coming down. You don't want the full weight to come down on that gear. So, ask me how I know how many times I've snapped that front gear. Luckily, it's not all that incredibly expensive. That whole piece, the unit, the screws, and everything is twenty dollars. That includes the wheel, the skirt, all of it. So, hate to have to spend twenty bucks, but hey. All right, there it is, folks. That's the set. Prop off. Set. You a happy bird? You're a happy bird. That is the. Uh, Car, our Carbon Z Cessna 150 by E-Flight. Great plane, great bird, uh, 6S power. I'm running a 5000 Spectrum Smart LiPo in her right now. And all the way forward, she balances great. Got lights, flaps, great bird. If you're wanting to get in a giant scale and you're ready for that, this is a great entry one. It's $399 for the bind and fly at Horizon Hobby or your local retailer. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Fat Guy Flies RC, and God bless.